Hey Sam fam, it's me, Sam Proof. I've been streaming since 2005 and making YouTube content since 2007, and we've got some stories that cover all these bases from two of the biggest players in both of these spaces. I did some rhyming there, and I apologize in advance. How's it going? It's good to see y'all again. Um, you can always catch me live streaming on twitch.tv slash samproof Monday through Fridays at 8 a.m. Plus, you can catch me over on the cute avalanche kitten cam, which is both Twitch and YouTube. So look for that if you want some fun kitten action. That's a weird phrasing. But yeah, what we're going to talk about today, uh, some statements made by Twitch and YouTube that affect you. Roll, there's, I have no intro anymore. Who cares? Let's just get into it. Um, yeah, some big things being done. Uh, recently, Twitch came out with this. I went the wrong way. <laughs> this. Um, yeah, this, uh, this Twitter statement about how they recently handled all of the DMCA takedowns and how they may have overreached, overreacted, and probably could have handled that better. That being said, there's a lot to this topic. For some of you younger creators, uh, something you need to know before you go, oh good, they acknowledge this, now I can go play some Britney Spears on my stream. That's not going to happen. You still can't do that, and you're never going to be able to do that uh, without the risk of a takedown. They're just saying that maybe some of the people who got banned shouldn't have gotten banned. Uh, maybe they reacted too harshly. Uh, but still, don't play recorded music during your stream. Uh, it, it, that goes for YouTube. That goes for Twitch. That goes for any of the smaller platforms out there. Uh, Trovo, DLive, Mom Crush, any of that kind of stuff, you're not going to want to do that because eventually these music licensing companies, and we'll get into this in a second, are going to find all of the other platforms and target them as well because they have nothing but time and money on their hands and they want more of both. Here's the deal with DMCA. This is not the artist coming after you. Uh, Britney Spears is not out there going like, I can't believe this dude's playing my songs and flossing some Fortnites. It's not, that's not it. She's not even getting a portion of the money that's, you know, most of this money that is coming through uh, is going straight to licensing companies. And that's who's doing this. It's the big corporation business. It's not the, the artist. You would have just as much luck. Uh, I don't know what I was about to say there. Cool. Cut, cut that. We're not cutting. We're not doing any cutting. No cutting. Who's editing this? Me? No editing? Cool. Let's just one take it. Um, yeah, this is, this is not about you. It's not about Twitch even. It is Twitch grew big enough that they became a target of the music licensing companies. And that's not going to change. The way they handle it going forward, that is something they're looking into. They may do something like YouTube did, which is create an entire library of music uh, that you, as a creator, can use without any uh, worry, without any, you know, need to license, without royalties, any of that stuff. All right? There's, this is a whole big, huge issue, DMCA. Uh, and unless... You're all going to get into politics and change the way that A, the public perceives copyright, and B, the law handles copyright. It's not changing. So don't push the boundaries. Don't put your big toe into the water of like, can I get away with this? Because no, no, you can't. Eventually they will come after you. Um, and it's not as simple as like, I'm just going to go to Facebook. Guess what? Facebook's going to cut your streams right away. Uh, it's just as bad over there. If it's not as bad over on YouTube, it will be. If it's not as bad over on DLive, it will be, guaranteed. If you want to talk more about DMCAs, head over to my Twitch, and I will talk to you live about this whole thing. Let's move on. So the other big story that came out also on Twitch today, earlier, uh, YouTube put this gem out. Uh, and yeah, YouTube said... 2020, since 2010, this is a decade. This marks a decade. Uh, since 2010, we've uh, ended the year with Rewind. This is YouTube Rewind, which is a giant collab of creators and viral videos and all that sort of stuff that they put together into one concise video, more or less concise. And then 
they release that and everyone gets a little cringy about it. Pretty much. Uh, since 2010, we've ended the year with Rewind, a look back at the year's most impactful creators, videos, and trends. Whether you love it or only remember 2018, <clears throat> Rewind was always meant to be a celebration of you. But 2020 has been different. Cue dark cloud music. And it doesn't feel right to carry on as if it weren't. So we're taking a break from Rewind this year. We know that so much of the good that did happen in 2020 was created by all of you. You found ways to lift people up, help them cope, and make them laugh. You made a hard year genuinely better. Thank you for making a difference, YouTube. And as you can see in the comments, uh, more or less people are on board. This has been probably the... T well, that was weird. One of the toughest years for a lot of people. Stop doing that, Twitch. Ruining my take. Um... And so, yeah, it's hard to celebrate when so many people have died. So many people have died. I'm under the thing. But this does present an opportunity for you, the smaller creator out there. This is a great opportunity for you, a YouTube creator, to get your community behind you, do your own version of what YouTube Rewind is meant to be, a celebration of creators, collaborate with each other, put a video out, and blammo, guess what? You can do this without having the competition of actual YouTube. Just each other. So I think it, it, it's nothing but great for you, the creator. A uh, great opportunity and run with it. If you want me in one of your videos, let me know what you're, uh, what you're looking for. I'm totally down to collab. Leave a message in the comments with your idea for your YouTube Rewind. If you just want to use a clip from one of my past videos, feel free to clip any of my past videos as long as it is not in a negative light and you credit my channel by putting my YouTube uh, URL, youtube.com slash samproof, in your description. Have at it. Um, and that's all. That's all I got. I'm going to try and do more of these videos in the coming days and weeks, sort of one-take vlogs, uh, and then eventually I'm going to get into some more tutorial-style streamer and YouTube content uh, creation videos. So if you have an idea or a question that is related specifically to live streaming and or multicasting live streaming, leave that in the comments, and I will use those to start my videos uh, of where I'm going with. And until then, stay strong.